Close your eyes for a moment and journey back to that cozy evening when you first stumbled upon it. The magical world of Disney, a timeless masterpiece that wove dreams into the very fabric of our childhoods. As the soft glow of the television screen bathed your living room in warm hues, you couldn't have known that this 1954 TV series was about to whisk you away on a fantastical adventure, one that would etch unforgettable memories into the tapestry of your life. Do you recall the enchantment that danced in your eyes as Disney's iconic castle slowly appeared, accompanied by the gentle notes of when you wish upon a star? The anticipation was palpable, and every episode was a portal to a world where imagination reigned supreme. The show was more than just entertainment. It was a magical gateway to realms where talking animals, fairy godmothers, and pixie dust held sway. Perhaps it was a Saturday morning ritual or a family gathering around the screen each episode imprinting its own unique mark on your heart. From Cinderella's glass slipper to Peter Pan's flight over Neverland, these tales transported you to places where dreams knew no bounds. Now, as we embark on a journey through the fascinating facts and untold stories behind the magical world of Disney, let's unlock the treasure trove of nostalgia and rediscover the show that made us believe in the limitless power of imagination. So, without further ado, let's dive into the enchanting universe that Walt Disney conjured for us all those years ago. The Magical World of Disney, a beloved television series that debuted in 1954, emerged as a pioneering force in family entertainment. Originally known as Disneyland and later rebranded as Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color, the show was conceived by Walt Disney himself as a means to promote his theme park and showcase Disney's animated and live-action projects. The series introduced iconic characters like Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy to a wider audience, making them cultural staples. What set the show apart was its unique blend of animation, live-action, and Walt Disney's charismatic hosting. Walt's warm and inviting presence endeared him to viewers as he guided them through enchanting tales, adventures, and educational segments. This distinctive format paved the way for future Disney television productions and laid the foundation for the company's cross-media storytelling. The impact of the magical world of Disney on popular culture cannot be overstated. It brought Disney's magic into millions of living rooms, fostering a deep connection between Disney and its audience. It also served as a launch pad for many Disney classics and introduced innovative techniques in animation and special effects. Even today, its legacy endures through the enduring love for Disney's timeless characters and stories, making it a cornerstone of family entertainment that continues to captivate generations. In 1954, the magical world of Disney TV series became a household favorite, enchanting viewers with its captivating stories and lovable characters. While there isn't substantial information available about guest appearances in the show, it's worth noting that the series did indeed welcome numerous guest stars from the world of entertainment. Actors, musicians, and celebrities graced the Disney stage, adding star power to the series. Their appearances brought an extra layer of excitement to the show, making it even more enjoyable for the audience. Now, if you're interested in another intriguing tidbit related to Disney, consider the story of Fess Parker. You may remember him as the iconic Davy Crockett and Daniel Boone in Disney productions. However, after his acting career, Parker transitioned into the winemaking industry. He founded the Fess Parker Winery, but this venture wasn't without its challenges. Legal disputes and controversies arose concerning branding and business practices, shedding light on the complexities of the post-acting career of this Disney legend. While the show's history is a bit sparse on the topic of guest appearances, it's clear that the magical world of Disney left a lasting legacy, not only through its entertainment, but also through the post-Disney endeavors of its stars like Fess Parker. Disney's influence extended beyond the screen, and the stories of its actors continue to captivate us today. And that's a glimpse into the intriguing world of Disney. For more fascinating tales and insights, stay tuned for more Disney-related articles. The Magical World of Disney, a beloved TV series that began in 1954, holds a significant place in Disney's history. It played a pivotal role in introducing the world to Disneyland the first ever theme park of its kind. In 1955, a special episode titled Dateline, Disneyland aired to promote the opening of this iconic park. This episode generated excitement and curiosity, marking a milestone in the entertainment industry. 
Moreover, the series was so popular that in 1972, NBC renewed it through 1976. This success demonstrated Disney's unique ability to consistently profit from its feature films, setting it apart from other Hollywood studios. While the magical world of Disney brought joy to many, it's important to acknowledge a tragic aspect of Disney's history. Annette Funicello, a beloved Mouseketeer and Disney star featured on the show, faced personal struggles with multiple sclerosis in her later years. This was a heartbreaking chapter in Disney's legacy, reminding us of the human side behind the magic. In conclusion, the magical world of Disney made history by introducing the world to Disneyland and enjoyed remarkable popularity throughout its run. However, it also reminds us that even in the world of magic, there can be moments of sadness and struggle. In 1954, the TV series The Magical World of Disney made its debut, captivating audiences with its enchanting stories. However, there's an interesting twist to its history that not many might know. The show had its moment in the humor spotlight when it was spoofed in Mad Magazine as Walt Disney presents Disneyland. This playful take on the beloved Disney show added a touch of satire to the Disney magic, showcasing how deeply ingrained Disney had become in American pop culture. Moreover, some of the longer episodes of the show took a journey beyond the small screen. They were released as theatrical movies overseas, expanding Disney's reach and influence to international audiences. This move allowed fans around the world to enjoy the Disney magic on the big screen. The magical world of Disney had a long and eventful run. Initially airing on NBC, it enjoyed loyalty from the network throughout the 1960s and most of the 1970s. However, by 1979, the ratings were on the decline, prompting demands for changes in the format. In response, the studio updated the show's visual look with a disco theme song and a fancier opening sequence. NBC renewed the show until 1981, but unfortunately, the ratings didn't improve, leading to its cancellation. Not willing to let go of the magic, CBS picked up the show and gave it an even more elaborate opening sequence, featuring state-of-the-art computer graphics for that time. Disney continued to adapt, reviving the show in 1986 on ABC, which later moved to NBC in 1988. The show had an impressive run, spanning 36 consecutive seasons on network television. In 1990, it was finally brought to an end. However, the Disney magic didn't fade away entirely. In 1997, the show saw a revival on ABC as The Wonderful World of Disney. This revival brought back cherished memories for fans and kept the Disney legacy alive. In summary, the magical world of Disney had a rich history, from its Mad Magazine spoof to its theatrical releases overseas, and its ups and downs on network television. It remains a testament to the enduring appeal of Disney's magic to audiences around the world. As we draw the curtains on this captivating journey through the enchanting realms of the magical world of Disney from 1954, I invite you to take a moment and let the memories wash over you. This timeless series has woven the threads of imagination and nostalgia into the tapestry of our lives, leaving an indelible mark on our hearts. For many, it was a cherished weekly escape, a portal to lands where dreams took flight and magic was real. The characters and stories became our companions, teaching us about friendship, courage, and the enduring power of belief. Now, it's your turn to shine. We'd love to hear your personal connection to this beloved series. What were your favorite moments? Which characters left an indelible mark on your soul? Did it spark your creativity, fuel your dreams, or simply offer comfort during rainy afternoons? Share your treasured memories and reflections, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of the magical world of Disney. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic voyage down memory lane. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. Keep the magic alive in your heart. And remember, the story continues as long as we carry it within us, with warmth and gratitude.